Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the Windows Search Indexer has stopped working and was closed, and that search failed to initialize on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing we're going to do is start by opening up the search icon and type in services. Best match to come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Locate the remote procedure call service. And there's two of them in here. So double click on the first one, just the remote procedure call service. Make sure it's automatic and the service is running. If it's not, you want to click the drop down, set it to automatic, and make sure service status is running. Second service in here, make sure that one is running as well. So set it to automatic, make sure its service status is in fact running, and then select apply, okay? Once you're done with that, close out of there. And now you want to open up the search icon and type in index. Best match to come back with indexing options. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to select the advanced button. Select where it says delete and rebuild index. Select the rebuild button. Select OK. This will take some, a little bit of time to run depending on how many files you have on your computer. Just give it a moment here. And once that's done, close out of here. Open up the search icon, type in CMD. Best results should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take a little bit of time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. And that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.